Good morning. It's February the 7th, and I have a few thoughts for you today. Uh, one of the things that is common to all of us is that we, we tend to think about when we're weak, that we're weak. And the truth is, when we are at our weakest moments and our weakest places, we are incredibly strong when we trust in the Lord. In the times that when in the times we feel weak, we need to trust in God's power, not our own. When we describe power, we use words like force, capacity, and authority. We tend to think of power as the ability to control the strength to change or the supremacy of one person over the authority of another. All powers can be matched. All powers can be changed. All powers can be reduced by the capacity and strength of another power. In some ways, power is about the bigger, the stronger, the better, the potency, the authority, what uh, numerous things. Yet all power on this earth and all wisdom on this earth can be overmatched by something far greater and something far more powerful. In one sense, even right now, even right now, all the authorities of all the governments, all the powers, and all the medical people are a bit overmatched by a virus. And it's bringing disorder to many, many people in many, many situations, and even many, many governments, many, many authorities. God's power is infinite in its capacity. God's power is infinite in its sovereignty. Yet, God's power is woven into his wisdom, wisdom, into his practice, into his presence. And it is perfect in all times. It is larger than any situation, any event, any power upon the earth. In the presence of God and by his power, mountains were made and yet mountains would melt in his presence. God's power is perfect in its design of the intricacies and the complexities of every facet of his creation. And God's power is complete in our salvation and in our sustaining of our faith through the grace of Christ. That's why when we are weak and we are trusting in God's power, we have an incredible amount of resources. We have an incredible amount of places to go. That's why the scripture talks about refuge and fortress and those kind of things and rock as being solid. That God is solid because his power is authority and his authority is over all things. When we rely on our own authority, on our own wisdom, even though we have great capacities as a human being, but because we're created in the image of God, there are times when we are no match for what we face, for what we have to deal with. Here's the key. Any time that we are overmatched by the situation, by the circumstance, by the event, anything that we face, when we are overmatched, we have two choices. To plunge in and try to fight something that's bigger than us, or to trust in God who is bigger than us and is bigger than us 
than the mountains and everything that we face. When we rely on our own power, sometimes we end up in a bigger mess. Sometimes we make mistakes that just have to be dealt with later. When we rely on God's power in the situation, when we rely on his wisdom, when we seek him for the understanding of how to deal with this or how to how to handle this in the sense by his presence, by seeking him, by trusting in him, by walking with him through the event, the circumstance, or the situation. Anytime that we feel weak, we have a strength that we can draw on. All weaknesses that we acknowledge and abandon to Christ thus are empowered by Christ in that situation. We are empowered by him in those situations. And he will give us grace and wisdom to carry us through every moment and every event that we encounter and have to deal with. Here is the great truth. We can trust in the power of Christ for all that we face. From 2 Corinthians 12, 9 and 10, we have this verse. And Paul has recounted in this passage, he's recounted all that he's faced, all that he's dealt with. And here's what he says about all that. My grace is sufficient for you. My power is perfect in your weakness. Therefore, I boast all the more gladly about my weakness so that Christ's power can rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weakness, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, I am strong. For when I am weak, I am strong. I just want to read that passage out of another version, um, more like a paraphrase. This is from the Passion Translation, which is sort of like a translation and a paraphrase together. So when I celebrate my weaknesses, I am strong. So I will celebrate my weaknesses for when I am weak, I sense a more sense more deeply the mighty power of Christ living in me. So I am not defeated by my weaknesses, but am delighted. For when I feel my weaknesses and endure mistreatments, even when I am surrounded by troubles on every side and face persecution, because of my love for Christ, I am made stronger. For my weaknesses become the portal to God's power. My weaknesses become the passageway to God's power. Have you ever thought of that? <clears throat> there is a way, a truth in the life. And that way is Jesus Christ. So through Jesus Christ, and through his Holy Spirit living in us, no matter what we face, no matter how weak we feel, we have his power, his presence, and his sustainable grace in that moment. Here is the great truth. We can trust in the power of Christ for all that we face. Thank you for taking a few minutes this morning, and may God bless your day. Amen.